The leaders uh, continue to be a stable group. Uh, we have again Switzerland as number one for the uh, sixth year in a row, uh, followed by uh, Sweden, the UK, the USA, Finland and Singapore. Uh, there are eight European countries in the top ten, which is also remarkable. There are good news uh, in all regions. That is, we find firm leaders uh, if we take any region of the world, let's say, for instance, in sub-Saharan Africa, we have Mauritius, we have uh, uh, South Africa, and we have Kenya uh, leading the, the pack. Uh, if we move to uh, uh, Latin America and the Caribbean, we have Chile, we have Costa Rica, and we have Mexico. Uh, at the top in the uh, Central and Southern uh, Asian region, um, we have India, uh, we have Kazakhstan and we have Iran. Um, and if we look at uh, Southeast Asia, East Asia and Oceania, uh, we have in the leading position uh, Singapore, uh, Korea and Hong Kong. So each of the region has its own leaders. The fact that we have uh, typically rich countries in the top 10 or even in the top uh, 25 uh, leads us to, to think that indeed there is a remaining divide. Uh, yet, uh, we see that innovation is becoming more global, uh, which is why we chose the theme of this year's uh, report, Winning Through Global Innovation, in two ways. On one hand, we have more emerging economies that are actually uh, becoming uh, leaders. And on the other hand, we have an innovation which by nature is more cross-border, uh, involves more cooperation between countries. If we uh, just look at the first dimension of globalization, indeed the fact that China for the first time uh, shows that a middle-income country can break into the group of the top 25 uh, is just a harbinger for more uh, of the same. We are going to see other countries moving up the ladder of innovation. Uh, it is clear that we are still in times of uh, low growth and that uh, global growth will not pick up uh, very rapidly. That's one first message. Uh, even if growth remains low, investment in R&D, expenses on innovation uh, should not diminish. The second message is that quality matters. Um, we've been given uh, increasing importance in GII to the notion of innovation quality. And we see that countries like China, India, and even Brazil continue to improve on that score, and that's an important message. And last but not least, uh, innovation success is largely a result of good innovation policies. So the leadership that can be uh, shown by governments, the uh, evolution of regulatory environments to support uh, innovation are born to bear fruit. Uh, if we look just uh, as an example to the GCC countries with the leaders like the United Arab Emirates or Qatar, we see that the will of the government, the demonstrative effect of public sector projects has been playing a very significant role in leading innovation and creating a true local innovation culture.